is it a good morning, Devils fans? Because we woke up this morning out of a playoff position. Absolutely embarrassing stuff by the team. I can't believe they didn't show up last night and earn an extra couple points to keep us in there. I don't know if we can even keep rooting for this team at this point if they're not in the playoffs. I mean, fans like me did not even watch the past decade and a half because we weren't perennial playoff teams. So, you know, we only jumped on the bandwagon last year. Saw an amazing team, and now they're not winning 50-plus games. 13-game uh, win streak already is not in the midst of happening. Embarrassing. I, I don't even know if you, how you can continue to watch this poor product on ice that Fitz has put out there. The fact that he didn't go out there and trade Hellebuck and sign him for an eight-year, $7,000 million deal. Uh, the fact that he didn't trade for Campbell. I know uh, this entire fan base wanted Campbell, and look at how crushing he is doing this season. If we had him in net, we might actually be a few more points uh, up, down. Doesn't matter. Um, what other goalies are there? Uh, um, Gibson, look how great he is. I know we all were talking about how great Gibson has been lately and that we should trade for him on that totally not forever long deal that he's still on. And, and just look how simple goalie moves are to happen. I just can't believe Fitz didn't go out there and address these things. Uh, defenseman, we have Smith here. Where Where's the backup? Miller, you didn't plan on him getting hurt? embarrassing by Tom I just we we're talking about GM of the year more like um egg on your face this is the devils not the L's that's how they're acting the L's but it's I I, I just don't know how people I, I can't keep this up oh boy um so my point percentage actually uh if the season ended right now COVID came back, or, you know, COVID 2.0, whatever, were to hit, NHL shuts down and go right into playoffs, we're in a wild card spot, because they do it by point percentage, so we actually would be in over Montreal right now, in the second wild card position, uh, and we're, what, a point behind, basically, uh, the second and third place team in the Metro, who also have um, more games played, at least Carolina does, than we do. Yeah, I've seen lots of people freaking out about this no playoff thing, and it's just really, really not a big deal at all. Um, I know the whole, uh, if you're in a playoff position by Thanksgiving, uh, your likelihood of making playoffs is uh, historically very, very strong. Uh, like I said, technically, season ends right now, we are in there. We have four games between now and Thanksgiving, and then we have a back-to-back, -back, the day after or the two days after Thanksgiving so I don't know how much you really want to count those but technically four games up through Thanksgiving uh we play the Jets in Winnipeg we play the Penguins in Pittsburgh we get the Rangers at home and then the Red Wings over in Detroit so three more away games we get a little home stint there as well not stint home break single game and um Rangers are obviously playing very well, but we always play them very well. We've actually have, you know, had their number quite well. Now, do we have Jack and Nico for that game? Do they have Fox and Shesterkin? That will probably be the determining factors in that one. If all four of those guys are out, you know, I'm going to favor us. Uh, but they are still playing very well. Jonathan Quick somehow went from the multiple season disaster, preseason disaster, into a perennial best goalie in the league situation again to start the year here in the regular season. Can he actually keep that up over the long hauls? Um, is he actually going to be healthy? Uh, we'll see what goalie we even get by that point. Uh, for the Devils here, I know we're in the trade. Nice. Um, I'm going to take that as how this season's been going. Uh, and that's it. I'm going to end the episode right there. Uh, we're out of the playoffs technically right now, but technically we're in. The season has kind of gone like that for some fans, but I'm still very optimistic. I'm going to leave this in for the behind-the-scenes view for the dozen or so people that watch these videos. So, uh, it's a Sunday. Enjoy the end of your weekend here. I'm trying to do No Shave November a little bit. We'll see how much patience me and my wife have in keeping this. And, yeah, I think we have an off day tomorrow. I'll see how I do that video, and then we play on Tuesday. Um, that one is going to be, I'm pretty sure, 7, uh, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock game versus Winnipeg on Tuesday. So keep an eye out for that. Enjoy the end of the weekend, guys. I'll have a bit more of an actual in-depth something type video tomorrow. So uh, I'll see you in the morning as always and forever. Let's go Devils, dude.